Good morning. You all are the blessedness of the Father. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I love you all so, so very much. Amen and amen. Right. I want to speak on two dimensions, and this is not for everybody. Um, before we go on, I want us to be able to understand. A lot of us, we're suffering from blood issues, like we're going through blood issues and things like that. But the, it's a place where majority of you, you've been trying to ask the Lord, what is happening? Help me to understand. The doctors have given you a good report. They said, hey, no, there is nothing wrong with you. And you've been there and you know that there is definitely something wrong. You've been there again and again and again. They said, no, we can't see anything. We can't find anything. But yet you still continue to experience majority of these infirmities and sicknesses in your body. I want you to first understand. The Bible says, whose report shall we believe? And the report I want to give you is that you are well and you are whole. There is nothing wrong with you. But he wants to show you, the Bible says, whatever my father has not planted, I will what? I will uproot. So he wants to uproot some things in your life. Yes, he wants to. And the reason why he wants to uproot it is because you've been around this mountain long enough. So majority of you, you know, you're basically, maybe you used to be a bit chubby before <laughs> and all of a sudden, all, you know, you just went from, you know, just down and you're like, what is happening? You know, you're eating well, you're doing everything well, but you can't seem to, you know, get that weight going. You can't seem to, you know, you, you've gotten that weight and all of a sudden you're trying to keep it and all of a sudden you just went boom. Why? Where did they all go? How did this all happen? You know, I'm not talking to those <laughs> exercising. No, not at all. You know, but this will be a, 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 a confirmation to your spirit. So I want to give this uh, first dimension, right? You know, majority of us, we go to donate blood. You know, we donate blood, we donate blood, however way we are donating it. You know, that can be good sometimes and that can be dangerous too. Because the government is telling you to donate, because the doctor is telling you to donate, and some of you, you've even gone for blood tests in places that you are not supposed to what? To go and get your test done. Some of us were donating this blood, but we don't understand the foundation of why this blood donation is needed. They tell you it's because we're using it to help people. We're using it to help people, you know, because people need blood and things like that. Sometimes that is true. You know, not everything, not all that they say is, is, is wrong. Sometimes it is true. But most sometimes at the same time, the reason for that blood donation is for the wrong reason. Have you ever wondered, because I believe we've shared on this channel before, about blood covenants and how much of an easy task it is to get blood than to, you know, it's very easy. Ask people to donate and they will donate blood. And eventually your blood is being placed on altars. So you're there, you're asking the Lord, you know, anywhere my blood has been taken, but yet you're donating blood. Anywhere my blood has been taken, but yet a blood test was done to you by a doctor who was not the will of God. Now, this is why I said, whatever we have to do because of our intimacy with Holy Ghost, we have to inquire of him and let him guide, not just lead. Do you know, he doesn't just lead, he guides too. So he can lead you. Let me explain the difference between leading and guiding. So you can say, oh, I, I, need, I, need to go to, I need to go to the pharmacy. Yeah, Holy Ghost is saying, I need you to go to the pharmacy and go and get this. He has, you know, he's led you that you need to go and basically go and get something from the pharmacy. But guiding you is helping you to understand, hey, if you go, if you're going down that pharmacy, don't take the route that you usually take. Take a different route. You can see the, the difference between leading and guiding. Good. Now, you see with David, right? David was led to go and fight a battle, but God had to guide him when you see the shuffling on the trees because he could have gone right into it and he would have lost, but he was guided. So he can begin to understand it. So he can lead you to donate blood, but he can guide you to whom to donate it to. He can lead you to go and get your blood test done, but he will guide you. <laughs> can you see that in itself so majority of us and this is why i want to share this testimony 
Right. So when I was growing up, right, I believe I went to a doctor, you know, I was young and, you know, my mom basically took me to a doctor and we went to this, this hospital and upon getting to the hospital, you know, the test was done. All of that was done. And upon that being done, you know, the, even when the, when the results came back, I was diagnosed for something that was totally different from what was happening to me. And in that place, you know, everything was taken, the blood was taken, all of that was taken. Now, many years later, I began to sense a lot of things crawling in my, on my body. You know, I'm like, what is all of these things crawling? You know, I can't seem to understand it. So for many years, that thing did not reveal itself. But because of the sensitivity to the spirit, I could basically begin to sense it. So I began to ask the Lord, help me to understand what dimension of this, you know, what is this kind of thing? Because this is not Holy Ghost, you know, <laughs> you know, how you, this is, the, where is this coming from? And now began to show. He said, remember when you were young, you went to this hospital, you know, they did blood tests on you. Yes, Lord. Okay. The doctor is not actually of me. What do you mean? The hospital was a coven. The a blood test that they did on you was just them collecting blood to donate it to their what? To their blood bank in the coven. So you can see how they were basically, either they were chanting on those blood or they were basically, man, they were manifesting all manners of infirmities through that blood. All of a sudden, the body getting hot. All of a sudden, the body getting cold, you know, and you feel this sickness. What is this sickness? All of that sickness. I'm sensing this. I'm sensing that. And he said, it is because of what they've done with your blood. So you can see, because a lot of us, we've gone for blood tests in places. They diagnosed us wrongly. You know, some people, you know, they probably misdiagnosed. There is nothing wrong with that. But, you know, there is, you know, there, you, there is all things wrong with that too, <laughs> because, you know, they still, you know, they make mistakes too at the same time. But it's a place where, you know, you've gone to do your blood test in hospitals that was not of the will of God because the foundation of those hospitals, they were built on witchcraft. Not everybody who goes to the to university to study uh, medicine are actually studying it for the right reasons. Majority of them, they're not studying it because they want to help you. They're studying it because it makes their own life easier in the realm of witchcraft. So you can begin to understand it. So this is where majority of you, you know, your blood group was this. Now you're sensing this in your body and you're wondering, how did I begin to suffer this sickness? It was never mine from the beginning. My family doesn't have a history of it. So how did it begin to happen? This is where you begin to understand. You've gone and done a blood test somewhere. You've donated your blood somewhere. And because of that reason is why you're feeling what you are feeling. So you can see majority of you, you know, there is dizziness and there is dizzy spells. So when they say dizzy spells, that is in the realm of witchcraft because witches, you know, warlocks, sorcerers, they cast spells, right? So somebody has cast a spell on your blood. Now you're feeling dizzy. For no reason, you're just dizzy here, you're dizzy there, you're dizzy there. That's because of where you've gone and donated that blood and the blood that you've given in times past. You can begin to understand it. So that is a realm of what? That is a dimension in which the Lord is helping you to understand that this is why you're feeling what you're feeling in your body, the blood donation. Secondly, <laughs> so a lot of us, I believe I've been sharing consistently that we need to be careful of whom we collect gifts from. Christmas, Easter, gifts you receive from those periods are rewards of what? Thanksgiving, you know, they are rewards of idolatry because they are not, you know, where did they celebrate Easter in the Bible, Christmas in the Bible? But we basically taken it. It is the way of the world. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world. Christmas, Easter, Pentecost, the day of Pentecost, celebrating those days, they are the patterns of this world. That is why people make money of those days because of the ignorance of those who call themselves Christians, believers, or, you know, however realm that you're walking in. So you can see, as a son of God, we don't celebrate those days. Why? Because they are idolatries. And some of you, maybe it's a birthday gift. Somebody has given you gifts. Your boyfriend gave you gifts. Your girlfriend gave you gifts. But they didn't have the right motive towards you. And the gift they gave you was rooted in 
diabolical means. I believe I've shared on this channel before where I was helping us to understand that somebody who was close to me a while, a while back, you know, the mother gave me shirts. And the, mo the moment the mother gave me shirts, she was using that in the realm of the spirit to manifest the sicknesses in their family. And not just only that, to what? To basically cause me to be sick and to transfer inheritances. You can see that dimension. So this is where the Lord is helping majority of us to understand. You have received shirts and trousers, shoes and clothes from people. And, you know, uh, and that in itself is releasing infirmities. Let me share this with you because this happened and, and, um, and the Lord basically helped me to understand it, you know, in context. I woke up one day, you know. Uh, for a time, I, you know, I would wake up, I would go to bed and I would see myself literally with scars on my body, scars, you know, I was just seeing scars for some reason it's like somebody just scratched me while I was in my sleep, you know, and I wake up either feeling hot, I wake up either feeling cold. Can you see that dimension? So it's like I went to bed, my temperature was normal and I wake up and I'm shivering and the weather is absolutely beautiful. I will wake up and I'm basically sweating and the weather is absolutely amazing. And I'm wondering what is all of these things that is happening to me, you know, and I'll be there and I'm looking at my body and I'm seeing all manners of scratches everywhere. And I'm like, where did all of this happen? I've been rebuking. I've been casting. I've been rebuking and I've been praying. But it was until the Lord began to reveal. He said, somebody has given you a gift of clothing. And that clothing that they gave you was to take blood from your body through dreams. Can you see the dimension of evil? <laughs> Can you see that? Because you are light and the light that you are is the reason why people attack you. Because remember, if Jesus was what? They're basically always looking for him to kill him. The apostles, they were looking for them to kill them. How much more you as a son? But the Bible declares that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And it says you will live and not die. Why? Because your testimony in this land of the living will bring many into a place of what? Of liberty. So this is where the Lord is helping you to understand that majority of you, you've collected gifts. And the reason why you're seeing those scratches, can I show you a dimension in the Bible? The Bible declares when Elijah went into the temple, I'm sorry, when he, you know, the, the, him and, and Baal, basically, you know, and the prophets of Baal, remember the Bible says they were cutting themselves. You see that dimension? They were cutting themselves because, you know, they were basically calling for Baal to come or, you know, basic to sac they were sacrificing their blood. So because they can't get it off you directly, they give you gifts to manifest that in the realm of the spirit. So you can see why you wake up and you see all those scratches. You wake up, you see all those scratches, even on your children's scratches, because on your children's body, you see scratches on them. That's because somebody has given them a clothing, a gift. You know, you collected that baby gift. You collected this baby gift, that baby gift. You did not inquire of the Lord. You thought everybody was happy for you because you gave birth. No, not everybody is always happy for you. Not everybody is always glad for you. Some people, what they, are, they mean things for evil, but we thank God he turns it around for what? For good. So he wants you to understand that what you're going through is because somebody has given you a garment. And for that reason is why you're experiencing that what? The loss in your body. But you shall not suffer any more loss. There shall be no more loss. So the clothing was given to you so you can suffer loss. So shall, it shall not be so anymore. The blood donation was to what? To suffer loss. It shall not be so anymore. You can see that in itself. So this is the dimension. So for some of you, you've been asking the Lord questions. So the reason for the weight loss is not because you've been at the gym. The reason why you feel, you know, you're the way you are. It's not because you went to the gym or, you know, you're eating the diet. No, but somebody is basically doing something somewhere with the blood you donated and with the gifts of clothing. And that is why majority of you too, you have to be careful with where you take your clothes to. Because the tailor is by the roadside. Because the tailor is your friend. You have to be careful of tailors too. 
Can you see that dimension? Because some of the measurements that the tailors take from you, they use it to manifest witchcraft over your body. So you might be there, I'm trying to put on weight, but they are using the measurement they took of you to manifest witchcraft over your body. Because I remember there was a, there was a woman who lived with us when we were growing up. And this woman was rooted in witchcraft. She was a tailor. And basically, you know, the tape rule, the tape measure, the measurement, everything she took, she was using it to sew garments in the realm of the spirit, to put on whatever diabolical thing she was doing, so that what? She can bring an end to life. So majority of you, you have to be careful of that in itself too. You have to be what? You have to be careful of where you take your clothes too, because you know why? Those tailors, some of them are rooted in witchcraft. And this is why I said, even the clothes you basically take to them, you don't know what dimension of what it is that they're doing to collect blood from you at the same time to satisfy their gods. That's why the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians, what has what? What has the temple of God got to do with Belial? You're the temple of God. So if you've done any of this, it's a place where you just have to go to the Lord repent of it father i am sorry and renounce the 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 measurements renounce the the blood donations renounce the blood you know the blood test every blood test that you've done just renounce it repent of it and just you know i just cancel the agreement and the rewards of it can you see that and next time if you have to donate if you have to go and do your blood test seek the lord first ask and it shall be given seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and it will lead you to where you need to get your blood sorted out can you see that dimension because he doesn't want you to fall into the because the into the praise of of wicked can the lawful you know be captive you know be held captive can the lawful that's what the bible declares can you see the lawful they go into captivity do you know why he says the lawful because you are the spirit of liberty because you are the perfect law of liberty can you see that dimension he says can the lawful captive be delivered can the lawful captive you're the perfect law of liberty and they use spiritual laws to bring you into captivity so you can see why a lot of people it's so easy to donate blood because what where is that blood going they tell you we're using it for people but it might be going in another dimension or direction and then they use your blood you're basically feeling the sickness you're wondering why can you see? People give you gifts. You wake up, you see scratches all over your body. Where is this coming from? It's because somebody is using, because they're using your blood as astral projection. They're using your cl the clothing they gave you to astral project into your house. So some of you, you have been trying to, Father, I, I break the powers of astral projection. But as long as you keep those items, as long as you keep donating that blood, as long as you go keep going for that blood test in a place the Lord has not sent you to, they'll be, they're using your blood to what? To project into your house. Using your blood to project into what into the dimension in which you're in the clothing they give you they're using it to project monitoring spirit familiar spirit they use the blood and the clothing and also from the tailor the measurement of your clothing so you can begin to understand it so a lot of you you might be like oh i just want to i just want to get some weight up and the reason why you're doing all that you can you're doing the toilings and the strivings but the root has not been dealt with you can see that in itself. So this is the dimension. The Father is wanting you to understand that what is happening to you is not a fault. You know, for some of you, it is a fault of your own because you decided to go and do it. You did not seek the Lord concerning it. And some of you, in ignorance, you did it. But the Lord is helping you to understand that you are not guilty. That is why I believe, you know, as I'm speaking, I feel so much uh, encouraged to share with you. That's why the Lord has told some of you to stop donating that blood. For some of you, he has told you, stop going to that doctor. Stop going to that tailor. Resist, you know, stop doing that. But you, uh, what, you know, because there are some people, they like to know the reason why before they are obedient to the Lord. And the Lord is like, I just want you to obey and I will explain to you later. Because some of us we won't move until we try to understand why, why he is telling me to do so. And the Lord is basically helping you to understand I am God. 
If I'm asking you to do it, I don't need to explain it to you at that particular moment. I want you to be obedient first, then I explain to you later. There is a realm the Lord explains, then you do it. And there is a realm he doesn't need to explain. He's asking you to do it because he's God. That helps you to understand obedience is better than sacrifice. So if you obey, it can probably take three months and you're delivered. If you're still waiting to understand, it can take three years before you're delivered. Can you see that dimension? And in that moment, delays have happened, losses have happened, if only you are just obeyed. But I pray that you'll be obedient to stay away from that doctor if the Lord has commanded you, to stop giving blood donations if the Lord has commanded you. Can you see that in itself? <laughs> so you can see the context of it. So that is why the Lord is what? Trying to reconcile that back to you so that you can walk in health, in wholeness, in the dimension of what he has called you to. So I pray this brings a, a dimension of revelation to each and every one of you because the Lord loves you. So stop donating that blood if he has told you to. Don't go and do that blood test there anymore if he has told you to because this is the hour he's breaking blood covenants. So anywhere they have covenanted your blood without your, without your knowing, he's breaking those covenants. Can you see? So the dimension of him breaking it is because he's setting you free. And like I said, for some of you, it might not be you. It might be what your parents have done. So it's a place that you forgive them. You forgive yourself of the part that you played in it. Ezekiel chapter 18. That he says a father, you know, a son will not bear the guilt of his father. Neither will the father bear the guilt of his son. You know, the one who basically does wrong will basically die for his own sins. Can you see that in itself? So you forgive them. Forgive yourself for the part you played and keep going. And the Lord what? He will do it. Not by power, not by might, but by his spirit. He will break it off you completely. So it could be them and the donation of the blood that they have done. Can you see that? So it could be them where they went and donated their blood. So hence the reason why is now manifesting in the bloodline. And that's what the Lord is trying to rescue you from. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I bless each and every one of you and I pray this be a blessing to you. You are the blessedness of the one who called you right from the very beginning. You are his glory in Zion and I honor the Father for you all. And remember, I love you very much. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you.